students welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited we'll do the experiment on fiber optic trainer for numerical aperture and fiber loss measurement Tesca code 28505 the package contains the manual the main code the patch code and the trainer here we have two transmitter section one is 660 nm and another one is 850 nm this is infrared fiber optic transmitter we are having a switch if if we want 660 nm we can turn over the switch on 660 nm and if we want the 850 nm we can turn over the switch on 850 nm we have the power supply we can on or off the button for the working of the trainer secondly we have the fiber optic receiver we have only one fiber optic receiver in this trainer this is an a apparatus this is an uh, receiver section and these are the potentiometer for con for adjusting the intensity of both the leds over here and this is for the adjustable for adjustable of output now let's begin the experiment experiment having the object fiber optic transmitter and receiver from this we are taking the external the input from the external frequency uh, frequency generator the input half 10 hertz to 100 kilohertz 10 millivolt to 1 volt peak to peak now we'll connect one end to the ground and another one to the positive secondly we have to connect connect the main code or 660 nm and the output from the receiver for taking the output we have to connect one to the ground and another in the output port now on the okay now we'll get the output we have to rotate this potentiometer and adjust the output from these potentiometers we'll get a sine wave here is the output for 6 660 nm transmitter the second one if we want from 850 nm transmitter we have to turn over the switch on 850 connect the cable on 850 again sorry again take the output by rotating the intensity this is the output for 850 nm transmitter second experiment having to determine the numerical aperture of optical fiber at 660 nm now we'll take the input from external frequency generator will put one at the ground and another at the positive then we are having a, having a fiber optical cable connect one end at 660 nm another end at an any apparatus switch on 660 and turn on the power now we are having an any scale now we have to put the scale on the any apparatus on 1 cm on 2 cm and so on we have uh, we can use the potentiometer to control the intensity of light
and from this we will take the diameter of a spreading light. Now put the value in the formula and take the outputs of losses in optical fiber at 660 nm and 850 nm. Now firstly we will take the input from the frequency generator. Put one end at the ground and other at the positive. For output you can take an power meter from your lab. But we can also measure the output or we can see the losses on this CRO. We will connect one end at say 60 nm. And we will bind this optical cable like this. And put the another end at fiber optic receiver. Turn on the power and take the output, connect one at ground and another at the output pin. Here the output voltage which we get is 3.8 volts and if I remove this pipe if I remove this pipe over here, now the output is 4.72 volt. So we can check the losses over here.